Well, Dick, they've passed their first test. The second round game, though, should prove to be more difficult between the Charleston Southern Buccaneers and the St. Mary's Gales. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Gales should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. First, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. Secondly, make good decisions with the rock. Don't turn it over, baby. Lastly, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket, grab the glass, get after the board. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. And there's a lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? Inside. Nice fake. For two, can't get the shot to drop. The skip pass is picked off. The ball goes out of bounds. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries the turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Stolen away. He brought the ball back down to the floor, and he stripped them. Number 20 is feeling great out there right now. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. He'll regroup the offense. Trying to pack it inside. There's the fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Way off target. Way out on top, controlling the ball, perfectly executed. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. You see, that's what happens when you go for the steal. You end up with unnecessary personal fouls. Jarrett receives the ball. Gave it up. The Buccaneers have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Got the high pick. Duncan handles the pass. Inside, Simon receives the pass. Number two takes it away. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Fed the low block. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Dick, he's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Looking for a good shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. 
Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. He puts up the tray. Got it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They work the perimeter. Number two handles the feed. Ain't no stopping them right now from the Arctic. You better believe it, baby. They're making them pay from out there. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And they come up with a steal. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He wants a three. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. Both teams looking to get things going here. Takes the pass in the paint. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Hard foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. And they get the turnover. Pro draws. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. I celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. At the line. He gets it to go. it up off the rim and no good that's just great hustle and great defense with a steal I tell you what they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player fakes the jumper takes away the pass Gave it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. There's the screen up on top. He gets it to go. it around the perimeter. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He uses the shot fake. 
and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They run it up into transition. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. Dante tried to make the spectacular play, and now he's embarrassed. On the dribble, gives it up, tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Time to pick up the defense here now. There's the pick. He looks for the bomb. He drains the shot. On the inside, he goes with a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. That's been moved, not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Are they confused about who goes where on that double team? Oh, there's no doubt. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. And now they'll bring it up. With a jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Top, controlling the ball. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Trying to draw some contact. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Going to move it around the perimeter with the fake. He gets the rejection. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. If you get the steal, you're a hero. But you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines. I'm standing by the losing team's bench, and their coaching staff is reminding them, it's just your nerves. Relax. Once you've settled in, you'll come back. All right, thanks, Aaron. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in the foul. Hey, defenders must be confident they're going for a steal. If not, they'll often end up with a personal foul. Thinks about the shot. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. On the outside. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Puts it on the floor and up and under. And off the mark. On the dribble, gives it up. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter one. Then he plays him where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Gave it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. On the outside.
Pump fakes. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Boy, terrible execution on offense. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? They'll work it around the arc. Fakes the shot. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Way off target. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dave. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Two, in and out. He takes the board. Looking for a good shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented the boards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He grabs the rebound. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Gave it up. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Trying to draw the foul. Knocks it down. Moving it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Cross court. Shoots from outside. No good from the field. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious rough with their shooting, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. Picked off. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. A high screen. Jumped in front to take it away. He takes the shot from the baseline. Drains the shot. circle misses from downtown great play to take that to the basket
defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. For the bucket, and he missed. High post screen, gonna use it. Number two, makes a great move to draw the foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. First one, good. Both free throws go. there but no foul called there. I take a good call by the official not blowing a whistle I think it's an excellent call. Stolen away and back they come the other way. Tries to get the D to bite and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Gives it up. He shoots from right of the circle. He gets the bucket to fall. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. That was nice. Goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way, you spin back the other way. Definitely a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Here's a flash from the high post. On the dribble, gives it up. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. An opportunity for two for one. Picks off the pass. He shoots from downtown. He gets it to fall. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. And halftime, the Gales lead by 23. We've had a good one so far, Dick. What play stands out for you in the first half? No bigger shot in the first half for me than this three ball from downtown, baby. Teams build the confidence they need when the threes are falling. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out.
Dick, what's going through these young guys' minds now? Here they are. They've worked all season long just to get to the NCAA tournament. We've got a half behind us, a half to go, and somebody's got to go home. Well, you know what I really think is impressive here tonight? Both these clubs are really focused on each possession. You can feel that they're playing with so much concentration, and that's all they got to do. They got to play up to their ability, and they're both doing it. At the ultimate end, it's going to come down to who makes the big shot. with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and you spin back the other way. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. For the deuce. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? The ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Perfectly executed. Up and inside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. They're pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. Up and inside. The point guard with the ball for two. Easy one. Goes up for two. Up and in. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He can't get the hoop to fall. He shows the sweet touch. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Gave it up. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Unloads a three. Off target. For the bucket. Oh, yes. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Set that screen away. Double team now, bad angle. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. They work the perimeter. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Come with a double team to stop it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. And he'll kick it back outside. From downtown, Charleston Southern is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now.
puts it away. It's a fast break possibility. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. For two. Easy one. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Sets the screen for his teammate. Jumps into the defender. Up. Easy one. The Buccaneers are trailing by 14. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Moving it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Now the high screen. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. He shoots from left of the circle. Gets it back out. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Foul charge. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. for the opportunity on the dribble gives it up he fouled him oh and you can tell by the look on his face he wasn't expecting the whistle on him wow look at the facial expression he says me this is the team's first trip to the free throw line first shot no good This is the second. He cleans the glass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle goes. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him and I'd see what happens. Side. He shoots from the top of the circle. And he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Up fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Tries the three. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job at sealing him off. 
Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews on what she's got in store for us. Erin? Well, guys, it's obvious their backs are against the wall. It's going to take a lot of fight and desire to get back into this one. Defensive stops are the words that come to mind, and without them, they just don't have a chance. Nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Looking for a good shot. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. The Gales lead by 20. Takes the pass in the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Working it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And he'll kick it back outside. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. He intercepts it. The pass is stolen. Hey, he got a clean break on it. Picked off. He looks for three. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. For the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Moving it around the perimeter. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. For the bucket. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. Goes up for two. He makes the shot. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Gave it up. He pump fakes. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Kicks it out. He launches a three. Gets it to go. from outside, way off target. Pass 
Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He fires from long range. He gets that one to fall. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries for two, and he scores despite the hack. The Gales are ahead by 19. There's a double team waiting there. Goes for the aggressive steal. He's got to pick and choose, Brad. Pick and choose when to go for the steal. Now they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. for two sweet looking shot he is super he really is Dick how's he working him defensively I'll tell you he's trying to front right now you got three concepts you can play halfway you can play behind or in front they've decided to play in front which means you got to get help some for three the Buccaneers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment they need to keep feeding the ball it's simple Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He unloads a three. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. He tries the three ball. Off the rim and no good. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle and they also have the good entry from the wing. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. Turnover City that will always really negate any offense. Oh, yes! Steals the ball. Fast break possibility coming. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Look at that spacing. The shooting guard gets the ball. Outside jumper. Great shot. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, twenty points. It doesn't matter. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And off the mark. Watch this! Oh. 
And a momentary look from three-point land for two. Rims out for the deuce. Perfectly executed. You would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. The shooting guard takes the feed. Takes away the pass. The center takes the pass. He launches a three. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside, outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Number one walks out to get his first minutes tonight. They have such a deep bench, Brad. This kid could start for any program in the land. Except this one, apparently. Well, you never know what the story really is. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Johnson steps to the line for the first time. Misses the front end of the one and one. And let's go back out onto the floor. A lot of time to go now, Dick, on a seven-point lead. That's right, Brad. A lot of time. They don't need to start forcing shots. He lets it fly. They need to foul here. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. Offensively, this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right times. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Second one, no good. This team has got to be so frustrated, they are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. He is going to the line. He makes the front end of the one and one. Gets the second. The lead is up to eight. They could be starting to pull away here, Dick. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Number two steps to the line. Gets it. Sinks it. Dick is 10 points safe at this point. Are you kidding me? 10 scratches wouldn't be safe with a half of his time left. 
Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. And I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. He shoots from downtown. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. The power forward gets the pass. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. Well, he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. doesn't miss that opportunity either. This is the big time. Jarrett hits a prayer. Nick, I think the better team won, we can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club, but, you know, you've got to win it keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, I'll tell you, when this game grab, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Gales graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.